OpenAI and its leader Sam Altman exploded onto the artificial intelligence scene back on November 30th of 2022 when he launched the famed chatbot ChatGPT. The follow-up to that explosion was the race to power it. Would it be nat gas, oil, electricity, nuclear? Which one would grab the lead to power the data centers to answer all of the billions of queries coming in? According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, back in 2022, when ChatGPT debuted, nuclear power accounted for about 18 to 19 percent of the U.S. electricity generation mix back in 2022, which produced roughly 775 to 804 billion kilowatt hours of power. Now, according to Bloomberg Intelligence, the U.S. is expected to add 53 gigawatts of reactor capacity by 2050, that's an increased output of 63 percent and would bring the total nuclear fleet to 159 gigawatts, driven by the booming demand to power AI data centers. And in the middle of this nuclear power surge is Sam Altman-backed Oklo. The advanced nuclear tech firm is taking its talents across the pond, announcing today it's partnering with Sweden's Bliakalat to speed up advanced reactor technology in the U.S. and Europe. Joining me now in a first on Fox Business interview live in studio is Oklo co-founder and CEO Jacob DeWitt. Blikala, Swedish, that company, what are you doing with them? Yes, well, thank you for having me. Uh, it's a pretty exciting way to work with some colleagues across the ocean who see the same trend lines and the same opportunities in the advanced nuclear space, pursuing similar next generation technologies that have some of these inherent advantages compared to what we've done in the past. So we use liquid metal to cool our reactors, uh, technology that's been well demonstrated, proven, has huge potential. They also are doing that with a slightly different twist. So we saw some opportunity to work together on various fronts from supply chains, for making fuel possibly for them, for doing some work where we can all ultimately help advance each other's businesses forward so them being successful in certain opportunities over there in a country like Sweden which is committed significantly to expanding nuclear somewhat similar to the US it makes for a pretty powerful combination when you say slightly different talk about how Blikala is doing what it's doing what is different about them you say it involves something called a sealer yeah, yeah. So uh, if you think about what a nuclear reactor is, it's fundamentally a way to make heat that you then transfer to ultimately turn into something useful. There's coolants you can use, different types of coolants to transfer the heat off the fuel. I'm a big fan of liquid metals, literally like metal, but molten, like we think of, uh, like the Terminator movie with the liquid metal guy, but not sentient. Well, I'm a big fan of the Terminator. I'm not sure liquid metals. But. Yeah, yeah, not a sentient one, uh, but liquid metals are great. They're really good at heat transfer. They run at uh, high temperatures without being pressurized. They have these great safety features to them. We use one liquid sodium as our primary coolant. Well, there's other technologies too, like liquid lead. And Blacala has been working on that for a long time about basically advancing that technology ready. So it literally uses molten lead as the coolant. Included in the deal, you would co-lead Blicala's next investment round, contributing about $5 million. What would that investment be used for? Yeah, it helps them advance their sort of technology to go to market uh, and help them mature in areas where we can potentially also help them with, you know, working together on developing supply chains, sourcing fuel materials, us perhaps making fuel for them, things like that. It's a pretty powerful way to sort of us to invest in them, uh, help them advance, and then as they make progress, they can come back and sort of, you know, perhaps buy things from us and partner with us to do things. And one of the things I think is cool about this, as far as I know, this is the first time a nuclear reactor design development company like Oklo has actually invested in another nuclear reactor design company. Uh, and part of what we saw as an opportunity here is Sweden has been very committed to advancing nuclear technology, uh, especially with policy moves in the last few years, similar to what we've seen in the United States. So we saw a great opportunity to partner up in sort of a transatlantic way and help advance this on both sides of the ocean. It feels like there is such a race right now for all of these different energy sources to get out in front to power these data centers. I mean, make your case for nuclear versus natural gas. We don't have to build up too much in natural gas. It's already here. Yeah, I think the thing we see, though, is pipelines are choked. We see capacity limits there. Those are things. But the fundamental thing is it's going to be a mix. The opportunity is too big. It's not even really one versus the other. When you think about what you can do with gas, with nuclear, those are pretty powerful combination assets, as well as what some things on the renewable side can do sure. to meet what we need with respect to having energy available for not just what we're doing on data centers and AI, but just reindustrialization. We're trying to bring back tons of jobs in factories and manufacturing cap capabilities with that. We need 24-7 power to do that, and we're short on it. Are you training people 
We because are. Because there aren't and that many nuclear people out there. Yeah. You know what we're really fortunate with is we have great people from other industries bringing their experience and skill sets to nuclear. And that's super important because nuclear stagnated for so long that some of the best and brightest in the country went to other places. Right. That's right. And but, now but they're coming to nuclear. Europe said no. I mean, Germany yep. banned it. And, and so people stopped majoring in nuclear science. And now we have to play catch up. We have to catch up. But the good news is we didn't stop innovating in other fields. And we're so fortunate that the U.S. is home to such incredible technology leadership and innovation pioneered in other technology spheres, right? Everything from SpaceX to electric cars to robotics to quantum computing. I mean, all of these fields have been advancing and bringing forward the best approaches in engineering. And we're seeing that cross-pollinate back into nuclear. Nice to know the U.S. is leading and you're one of the companies there. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you, Jacob. Oklo is just one of the power players you see on the Claim and Countdown every single day and on Wednesday night. You do not want to miss our prime time special. The biggest and brightest minds in the business world right now are all on one special edition of the Claim and Countdown. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong, AMD CEO Lisa Su, Coca-Cola CEO James Quincy, the Winklevoss brothers Cameron and Tyler, and hedge fund pioneer Ray Dalio. What they all say could very well guide your investments for years to come. Don't miss Claim and Countdown Power Players Special, Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, only on Fox Business Prime.